Welcome to a daily dose of good news for Monday, March the, I guess it is the 16th, 2020. Reading from 2 John, verses 3 to 6. Grace, mercy, and peace be, grace, mercy, and peace will be with us from God the Father and from Jesus Christ, the Father's Son, in truth and love. I was overjoyed to find some of your children walking in the truth, just as we have been commanded by the Father. But now, dear lady, I ask you, not as though I were writing you a new commandment, but one we have had from the beginning. Let us love one another. And this is love, that we walk according to his commandments. This is the commandment, just as you have heard it from the beginning. You must walk in it. Here ends the reading. Welcome to what uh, will be the first of who knows how many uh, daily doses of good news that I and several other folks from around Holy Trinity look forward to bringing you uh, in the course of the coronavirus outbreak. I say unknown because we really don't know how long it's going to last. The uh, viral disease scientists talk about exponential growth. Now this virus is coming with uh, one one day, then two, and then four, and then eight, and then 16, and then 32, and then 64, 256, and before you know it, a week or two, we're into the thousands and tens of thousands, they're telling us. They're telling us also, using charts to show how that exponential curve uh, will work for us. But then they're also telling us that eventually, that curve is going to start to come downward. When so many people have been infected, uh, that there are no more to be infected. And eventually, uh, it will reach down to where hardly anyone is being affected. We just don't know how long that's going to be. We don't know all the trials that will be involved uh, in the course of that period of time. But there is one thing that we do know. We do know that the love of our God works on behalf of us and all creation, not exponentially in a curve that eventually finds its way back down, but infinitely from the beginning of time to the future that God has in store for all of us. We can think back to the creation of the world and everyone in it, us created in God's image for the sake of living in love with God and one another. How in the early church, the early people of God, that love was charted in a command that we love the Lord our God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength, and the other like it, that we'll love our neighbor as ourselves. Now Jesus was born into that family of love and lived it so purely that finally the world couldn't tolerate him anymore and, and killed him in order to try to stop it. And yet God raises him from the dead three days later so that that love might continue on Again, not exponentially, but infinitely. However long our lives are disrupted by this coronavirus, uh, we can be sure that God's love is growing in and among us, even beyond all that. And we'll look forward to celebrating that love in new and creative ways. Hopefully, uh, this video blog, vlog, I think they call it, might be one way to do that. You can find a copy of uh, these daily devotions online as well, in a printed version, also that we might stay in touch with one another and ground ourselves in the good news that is ours this day and always. Appreciate spending a few moments with you here today. Uh, people that you want to continue to keep in your prayers, Alice Larimer again is home after having had hip surgery that is going to require her um, to remain in bed for a minimum of three months. So please remember her and Gavin. Remember uh, Bill Eubanks as he is continuing to uh, have his uh, cancer treatments, both radiation and chemotherapy. Uh, Diane Whalen recovering from her surgery at home, as well as David Bannis. Uh, his abdominal surgery. I understand he has been able to get out of the house a little bit already now, too. Uh, we give thanks to God for that. I'd like to close with um, actually the light chanting, I guess, of uh, a poem that 
serves as the words for a hymn that started going through my mind this morning as I was lying in bed thinking about our text for the day. It's a text that is drawn out of that catalog of texts from which come our Sunday morning uh, Bible passages. This is the one for Monday. As I was contemplating on that as before getting up this morning, a uh, poem that came to mind that is set to the words, my song is love unknown. I would like to conclude uh, my uh, video presentation with you today uh, by a reading or slight chanting. I can't even really read it without singing it a little bit. I don't know how it's going to come across. I hope it comes across okay. It does raise for me the possibility that um, maybe if you don't have a hymnal at home, you might like to have one that you could turn to uh, some of your favorite hymns over the course of the next several weeks when we're not going out very much. I'm at home, I'm at church, and I'm at the grocery. That's really the extent of my travels this day as we seek to mitigate uh, the spread of this virus as best we can for ourselves and the sake of those most vulnerable among us. So let me conclude today with a poem, Samuel Crossman, My Song is Love Unknown. My song is love unknown, my Savior's love to me. Love to the loveless shown, that we might lovely be. Oh, who am I that for my sake? My Lord should take frail flesh and die. My Lord should take frail flesh and die. He came from his blessed throne, salvation to bestow. But men made strange and none, the longed for Christ would know. But, oh, my friend, my friend, indeed, who at my need his life did spend, who at my need did like did spend. Sometimes they strew his way, and his sweet praises sing, resounding all the day, hosannas to their king. Then crucify is all their breath, and for his death they thirst and cry, and for his death they thirst and cry. Why, what hath my Lord done? What makes this rage and spite? He made the lame to run. He gave the blind their sight. Sweet injuries, yet these are they. Themselves displease and against him rise. Themselves displease and against him rise. They rise and needs will have. My dear Lord made away. A murderer they save. The prince of life they slay. Yet cheerful he to suffering goes, that he his foes and thence might free, that he his foes from thence might free. In life no house, no home, my Lord on earth might have. In death no friendly tune, but what a stranger gave. What may I say have was his home? But mine the tomb wherein he lay, but mine the tomb wherein he lay. Here might I stay and sing, no sorry so divine. Never was love, dear King, never was grief like thine. This is my friend in whose sweet praise I all my days could gladly spend, I all my days could gladly spend. 
an infinite number of days that our God has promised to love each of us whom he has created and saved. Friends, be safe, be well. Talk to you again.